Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Simone here. Today I'm filming my July favourites. I had a really fun month in um, July, so I wanted to talk about some of my favourite things of the month. And yeah, so let's get started. So I want to start off with three um, YouTube videos that I want to mention that I've really enjoyed this month. As you may or may not know, um, the last week of this month was the reading rush um, that I took part in. Um, I'm filming this before it's even ended, so I don't want to say how well I did or if I did very well at all. But I have really enjoyed watching all of the TBRs and the vlogs, etc. Um, the first person that I would like to mention specifically is Hayley from the channel Hayley Marie. I love Hayley's channel. I think she's absolutely gorgeous and I just love to... Um, like watch her videos but her reading rush tbr was really fun i really enjoyed it and um she talked about some great books and i know that she really set her sights high in terms of the books that she could read so yes definitely a channel that i think you all should check out Haley is fantastic and i absolutely adore her <laughs> Then the second video that I want to talk about is um, from Ernest Alex Reads. Alex is a channel that I have watched pretty much since the beginning of her channel. Um, I think, you know, it was a few, a few videos late, but I feel like I've watched her videos since then. She's such a wonderful, personable person and I love her so, so much. She, um, has, she started doing daily vlogs for The Reading Rush. As I said, at the time of filming this, it's on day three. Um, so I've seen day one for her, um, her day one reading vlog and it was fantastic. She went to see a castle with her partner and oh my god, the footage of that, that, that vlog was just beautiful and she talks about great books. Honestly, if I was nearer to Alex, I would love to be like great friends with her because I think that, you know, it's one of those things where I feel like she, we have, I don't know, I just feel like feel an affinity with her so definitely somebody that I absolutely love and I definitely would recommend that you go and check out her channel and then the third well sort of third and fourth video really um has a specific favorite attached to it so um if you have seen my collaboration video that I did with Emily and Charlie um you'll know that I went to see them in July and oh my god we had such a we had such a wonderful day. I love those girls so much, honestly. We had a fantastic time. We filmed together. We went charity shop um, shopping. Is that even a thing? I also did my book haul that's probably gone up before this one uh, where I bought like 30 odd books when I was with them. Because they're bad influences, I'm just saying. Um, and somehow neither of them came away with as many books as I did. So I'm not sure how that worked. Um, but no, I had a wonderful time. I met um, Emily's family who are all beautiful and wonderful and I love them so much and yeah I just love them I feel like we're like soul sisters I honestly love Emily and Charlie both um, and I just I know that I'm gonna like see them all the time now um, they're never gonna get rid of me basically is what I'm saying so ladies if you wanted to get rid of me it's kind of tough luck um, but yeah I had a wonderful wonderful time so I did also want to mention the collaboration videos that we did so I obviously did the um, so I will link down below the three videos um, that I've done at the time of filming this um, only Emily's has gone up um, but both mine and Charlie's are due to go up this afternoon I think um, like I said I'm filming this a little bit early so yeah so I haven't watched Charlie's yet but I mean I was in it so I know what it's like <laughs> um, but yeah I'm really excited to um, watch those vi that, that video and um, just to be able to experience that day again because like I said it was so wonderful it was so nice to see them um, it was worth the 4 30 a.m. wake up call to be able to get to the train station um, and it was worth the rush hour in Reading train station because that was manic but yeah generally I had a really wonderful time and um, yeah they're so supportive so wonderful and honestly we just laughed and laughed all day so I'm gonna keep gushing about them all the time now but as you probably know every single video I film they're in the description box because I've mentioned them at some point so yeah love those girls and go and check out those videos next up I wanted to talk about my three favorite youtubers who are not booktubers um, I have again three like I always do the first one I wanted to talk about this time is Madison Miller Madison Miller is an American youtuber who is just wonderful she had a little girl I think it was last year I think it might have been around Christmas time actually um, a little girl named Riley and um, I just love watching her videos she does a lot of um, beauty makeup videos which I don't really watch loads of anymore but I do really enjoy her so I will always watch them 
um and yeah she does talk about wonderful things she also is kind of like mummy stuff too which i enjoy as you all know it's one of my favorites and yeah i just have a wonderful wonderful time Next up is the wonderful Nikki Philippi. Nikki is a channel who I have watched for quite some time, but I go through phases of watching bits and pieces of her stuff. But again, <laughs> mummy vlogger, what I love the most is when I, what I love the most is when I have normal like YouTubers that I've watched for ages and then they have children or like they get married or they have like big events and I love to see that kind of like change so Nikki has recently announced that she's pregnant so she is currently I think like three or four months pregnant and I honestly I'm so happy for her I know that they were looking into adopting or fostering and um so to be able to have um a baby themselves was just a big shock I think and yeah I've been really enjoying watching those videos and yeah generally I just really like Nikki's channel um she's very bubbly and very bright and very kind of open and yeah I just think she's amazing and then the third youtuber that i want to talk about is a british youtuber and that is fabulous hannah hannah has one of those channels that just makes me laugh every time her accent is one of my favorite things i just love the way that she speaks and yeah i just think she's so incredible she makes a lot of like challenge videos so the ones i've loved mostly this month um have been like her my friends pick what i eat for 24 hours um and oh, she, all that kind of thing she does that style of video and i love that there's something about it, it just makes me laugh and she's gorgeous and yeah she's really down to earth and you know there's no like real airs and graces which i prefer and i think is great so yeah definitely a channel you need to check out then we come to my favorite book of the month of july so my favorite book i had two that were really close but the one i've decided to go for is shelter in place by nora roberts this is a psychological thriller um kind of like miss I don't think it's like full-on thriller I don't really know how to explain it I've never actually read a Nora Roberts book before so this was definitely eye-opening to me this follows um, a the events after a um, shopping mall massacre where basically lots and lots of people were killed by three shooters and um, one of them uh, the two main characters in this are Simone Knox who was the first um, she made the first uh, what do you call it she made the first 999 call so she saved a lot of people's lives she also um obviously survived and but she's incredibly guilty over what happened reed quartermain is the other main character in this who is another survivor of the shooting he um essentially wanted to become a police officer because of it and basically they um both now live on an island off the coast of maine and someone is watching all of the survivors of the down east moor which is the place where everybody was murdered and um basically trying to finish off what happened and what start what was started so essentially the person is trying to kill off everybody that previously survived and it's about reed and simone trying to figure it out firstly i love the fact that there is a simone in this like i never read books with my name as the main character as any character let alone the main character um so i loved that if i'm totally honest i love the relationship in this i love how this somehow manages to be a little bit of like of a romance but without being like smack in your face romance and obviously there's still got loads of the thriller element to it i thought this book was fantastic it is quite a long book and i don't know that it totally needed to be that long but i kind of love the fact that i could just really immerse myself in this i initially started reading this for the summertime reads readathon i didn't finish it in that month um but I love that readathon. Um, but no, this this was one of those books that I picked up for that. So a massive thank you to Clint and Melanie for making me pick up this book because of the prompt. And yeah, I just really, really enjoyed this. I also should say that I really enjoyed um, the Step Right Upathon readathon that happened in July. It was a great readathon, um, and a massive thank you to both Nick, Linda and to Nikki for. Um, you know starting the readathon and me making it something that we could all access it was wonderful and i read like three or four books i think for it which was great actually i think i read all of the books i think i read five books for it which i'm quite impressed by i must say so yeah definitely a great readathon and definitely one that i hope that they do again next year that would be fantastic next up is my favorite film of the month and i actually watched quite a few films this month um i've definitely got more into films at the moment but the film that i want to talk about is despicable me 2 i have seen it before um only once though and it was a while ago but i know that the third one is coming out um and i do want to watch that when it does come out i think i'll probably wait until it comes out in um on dvd because i'm pretty sure it's out in the cinema right now um Despicable Me, if you don't know, follows um, Gru, who is a villain, 
and he has minions and I don't really know how else to explain it it's about a villain guy basically and you kind of root for the villain um but yeah I'm excited to continue on and watch the third one when it comes out but the second one was my favorite I really love the character of Lucy and I don't know there's just something about the second one that I kind of prefer to the first one I must say so yeah definitely a great movie I'm really glad that I watched that um, I actually watched that with my dad too now we have my top three favorite uh, songs of the month um, as you will know I'm a big throwback person so all of them all of them this time are throwback songs I'm happy about that the first one is pink for um the first one is Pink featuring Nate Ruess singing Just Give Me A Reason. This song breaks me every time because I love to sing along to it. And there's just something about it that's just so beautiful and I love it so much. Um, it's a really good ballad to it as well. Like there's a nice like rhythm and I kind of love the music video because I'm pretty sure that Pink um, is the guy that she's with in the video is actually her husband. Which I must say, I do enjoy, enjoy when that happens. So yeah, definitely um, loved that song this month. I also discovered a Sugar Babes song that I'd forgotten about. I love the Sugar Babes. I've always liked the Sugar Babes. And I was recently going through their like back catalogue and I forgot the song Red Dress. This is a song that I used to listen to all the time. And I just haven't listened to it probably in about 10 years. Like that's how much. But I love the song and um, it's just got a really cool like rhythm again to it. I think also it might have been the first song that Amel... Vera Bar, is that her name? Um, when she joined the group, when um, Mucha left. So yeah, that's really interesting. I think, um, yeah, and no, it's a really good song, so I did really like that one. And then the other song that I wanted to mention is by a band that I also love and I always mention, who are no longer together, so it's quite sad. Um, and that is Atomic Kitten, and that is the song The Tide Is High. Um, I think I've mentioned Hole again in a video uh, favourites before, but I just love Atomic Kitten in general. Those three, um, I just think that again, it's like Sugar Babes. They like interchange into who's in the band and who's not. But The Tide Is High is one of those songs. It's a really classic oldie song that kind of everybody probably knows but yeah I love their version of it next up on to my favorite booktubers of the month and I do have three this time the first one has to be honestly been my favorite this month and I was talking to Emily on whatsapp last night we were having a chat and um we were talking about our favorites video and we both said this person was in our favorites so hers has probably gone up before mine because she's much more organized than I am but um she snuck in there. I bet she snuck in there and made it look like a copy tear. But I didn't. We both did it at the same time. Um, and that is the wonderful, wonderful Clint from Reads Readers. As I said in my recent um, TBR video, um, myself, Emily and Clint are actually doing a readathon in September, which I'm really excited about. So you will um, see the information of that it may already have gone up or it may be coming up soon but there'll be some we'll give you all the details on that um but i adore clint's channel clint himself is just a wonderful human i think he's great we talk a lot of the time now and i just think he's wonderful his hair is amazing he's just had it done and it looks gorgeous i love all of his videos and um if you haven't subscribed to clint go over and subscribe to him because he's fantastic and he has so much enthusiasm for his books and I just wish I could talk to him all the time. So big love to him. The second booktuber that I want to talk about is Kazi Athena. Kazi is an amazing channel. I absolutely love her channel. She did a video recently about annotating books and her voice is just so soothing and I love to listen to her. She's so, so wonderful and definitely a channel that I'm glad that I found. Um, I haven't watched lots of her videos, but I've just started to, so hopefully I'll be able to sort of watch a bit of her back catalogue as well because she's so wonderful and yeah, I love her. Her accent, I just can't deal with the accent, is gorgeous. <laughs> And then the third booktuber that I want to talk about is somebody I've definitely mentioned before, but I've never actually put her in a favourites video, and that is Julie from Hungry Bookworm. Julie is so wonderful. She definitely has a lot of fantastic ideas for booktube. She was the one who did the collaboration that went up at the beginning of July, which is also another one of my favourites. Um, I um, We did a collaboration with another with eight of us all together, where we each um, did um, questions that we picked on each other's channels. So I will link down below um, the... Um, 
collaboration that I did uh, and that has all of the uh, participants on the in the description box of that video so I'll link that below for you like I say I love um, Julie's channel she's so wonderful she's so personable she doesn't take any crap she will say to you what she thinks and I think that's brilliant I think that's perfect you always know where you stand and she's just wonderful I love talking to her she just has like this perfect way about her um, and she's so so clever and so wonderful like I say so I couldn't gush about her enough if I'm honest so I'm really gonna go for it there. <laughs> and then the last thing that I want to talk about is my favorite TV show of the month so my favorite TV show has definitely been Queer Eye I know that the fourth season of Queer Eye has just come out on Netflix but I'm still on season two at the minute because I'm always behind as we all know but I love it so basically if you don't know what Queer Eye is it's five gay guys uh, you have Anthony Tan Bobby Jonathan and Kintaro um, and all of them are gorgeous and they basically go to somebody's house generally it's guys but there was a female one I think um, yeah there was a lady that I've just recently watched and they basically make over their whole life so Tan is the like fashion guy Kintaro is the um, like culture guy bobby is the interior designers guy anthony is the food guy and jonathan is the like styling hair and grooming guy and they sort of take that and try to help people better themselves they give people the chance to um like just change their lives basically and it's so wonderful i don't think i've watched an episode yet without crying because oh my god every time it's the, like it breaks my heart especially when people like um there was a couple of episodes that have been my favourite. I really in, liked the episode where Bobby, um, they did a, um, like a church, what type, the lady that they were helping basically was, um, like she was really religious and she was really involved with her church and Bobby has not stepped foot in a church since he was younger because of, you know, bad things that have happened to him based on judging, you know, the fact that he's gay. And so that was really emotional. It was, there was also one with Kintaro who, um, basically, uh, he's a black guy and, um, their client or whatever you call it was a police officer. And so, um, one of the like jokes that they did was that the initially was that the police officer guy pulled out, pulled them over and Kintaro was, um, like terrified because he's a black guy and police you know it was a big big thing for him so it was really emotional to watch but I'm really glad that I started watching it and um definitely a cha uh, like a thing that I'm going to keep watching and hopefully I'll be able to catch up as well because um I absolutely love Queer Eye so much <laughs> that is my favourites for the month of July um I also would like to very quickly mention at the end of this video and I know I've probably mentioned it before but I actually got engaged right at the very end of June um the 29th of June it was uh just before my birthday which also was another one of my favourites of the month um I have my little little ring here and we have been wedding planning this month which has been amazing because we're kind of trying to we want to get married so I'm really excited I love AJ so much and I just wanted to send him a little shout out at the end of this video as well because he's gorgeous and I'm so excited um but yes so my shout out for the video shout out of this uh, video is going to be anna from the channel anna francesca i love anna's channel and she has been doing a thing with the time turners book club i'm sure that's what it's called where they've been rereading harry potter and she's done two like vlog style videos now one of um harry potter and the philosopher's stone and one of the chamber of secrets and i've loved both of them i think she's wonderful she's such a good friend i definitely think that she is worth subscribing to if you haven't already go and look at her out she's wonderful and definitely somebody that I can see myself again being really good friends with so so go over and subscribe to her and check out her channel and show her some love give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one for another video bye guys mm -hmm.